Funny that, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> Bit of a TV gap. Twelve players. <laughs> Two agility five players. <laughs> At least he doesn't have a wizard. Couple of blitzers. Strength catcher. Two plus leaps. Oh. Wrestle. He's got a losing record. So, and he's got a bear as is his uh, as his as his thing, but doesn't have a bear. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Ah, thanks, Brandon. But well, no, actually, don't. No, I wouldn't have had to play. <laughs> I've honestly got no idea. Hello, VIP school. I've got no idea because I've just been out of it the last few days. Just been proper. Proper real, I'm you know, I've just been clicking randomly on Diablo 3, <laughs> so I'm totally out of the loop on the uh, on the playoff picture. Right, 490 TV, it's a nice fair game, isn't it? Could just get Varag and uh, Ripper. Yeah, he could actually chew ghouls if he had tackle, couldn't he? I mean, I could have a wizard for when they steal the ball off me. But I think I just want more TV on the pitch. I'm okay with Varag. Let's go. Means that can foul a bit now, doesn't it, with 13 players? Well, it was a bad arse. Varag really would be if he had tackle. Yeah, you don't. Um. I mean, he hasn't got a one turn because they're slow. Receiving the ball, I get to hit with mighty blow and stuff. But he's got he's defending with eleven. No, Varag never had tackle, but he should have done. Would have made him better. I think they're underrated. Nah, they're garbage. No, um, if they were all well, they can beat anybody. But that's true of any team. But they're more they're more dice dependent than other teams, aren't they? With with the leaping ability that they all have, that they pay for, that they usually don't use, shouldn't use. Um, if they get the high TV, they've got some appealing players. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Tally? You would think, you know, if, if Games Workshop had been made by people who were good at the game, which <laughs> they never have been, <laughs> you would have thought they would have had some tackle style. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> that happened again sooner or later, I guess. Oh well. Hello. <laughs> dangerous to have a skill that might be useful let's when we actually have tackle make sure we pair it with wrestle and dauntless to make <laughs> make sure he has well not rest not just wrestle but block and wrestle and tackle and dauntless to make him really weird he's the only one who would tackle isn't he probably I, I, some dwarf ones disregarding the dwarf ones Yeah, he has one of the cool counter skills, yeah. Yeah, you could do random bar, you could do. I mean, they can win. They can win any given game, obviously. The problem is in the um in the kind of like nitty gritty of of the tournament itself and just getting through their own damage and everything. It's just hard for them, isn't it? Oh yeah, Wolf from Ajax, yeah. Oh <laughs> would it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be. I mean if they kept long legs, if they didn't have long legs <coughs> it wouldn't be so bad, would it? But long legs in a reroll would be insanity. <laughs> It's case sensitive and subzonal. To stop the spamming. Not to be an asshole or anything. Yeah, exactly, Wolfbark, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you know, they could potentially, you know, go the go go through a ton without taking much damage and, and win it. Of course they could. More than capable of winning tournaments. Glorious. Glorious. Thank you very much, Moridan. Thanks for staying fantastic. Glorious. Oh, he's blitzed already. What's he doing here? I'm an absolute madman. Just because you can leap it doesn't mean that you should leap. I mean, that's a problem with uh, with Kislev, you know, that some people have with Kislev. Um, but I mean, that's their fault, not the roster's fault. <laughs> He's going to base. F and funnily enough, the Herb Derp basing, if it works for anyone, against anyone, it works against uh, Kislev. Right, let's go for three dice with the first action.
Maybe I should have base with a strength four. Black ball four. Hey. Fuck you. Fuck you, deep eye octopus. <laughs> Don't need tackle and you just power people. Go oh, there so we can't just leap free. Okay. <laughs> Dead. Um, yeah, Wolf from Ajax. A lot of people do, but just because just because they struggle on offense, you know, that they, they excel on defense, and so they just want offense. Like much like Inarian chooses to play Wood Elves. Um, you know, if Wood Elves just if if uh, Kislev can't really deal with getting based like how Wood Elves can, so. They like to get off, off of offense as soon as possible and get back on defense. A bit like, you know, uh, vampires having to protect the ball is hard when you've got to deal it, deal with, uh, you know, thrall positioning and potential bloodlust, etc. Whereas on defense, it's much more forgiving. So it's just kind of, you know, obviously they've got hypno gaze is a defensive tool. So they're quite, um, they're quite similar to vampires, like vamps have to get off of offense because because you know they're fucking all like vampires are fucking terrible on offense um kids they aren't terrible on offense and certainly they've got a good two turn option but they're obviously not they're not great at grinding No, but what once they once they've got a leveled up team, Wolfpack, obviously a low TV. No, they're crap at scoring two turns. But a high TV, they're, they're great at scoring two turns because you just can't stop them. They've even got diving cats, so they just you know. Yeah, that's the one, Ducky. Yeah, it's good getting Ripper, isn't it? <laughs> Not so good being four ninety TV down, but good getting Ripper. Dirty Dingo made a dodge. Oh man, Ripper gets to base three people here. Blitz from the wrong direction, oh my god. After all that, I was thinking I'll blitz there so I can make another 2D and then just blitz him from the wrong direction. Outrageous. Get it, Kaz. Can't complain about that, can I? Uh, so if he leaps, he's got to dodge as well, or he's got to leap further away. I'm having to not base too much here, aren't I? Put him there. 
so we can't assist anybody. It makes, a, makes for a pretty good base. Maybe I could have based more guys. But I want to I wanna play it pretty safe. He should be there, shouldn't he? I put him in the wrong square. <laughs> he should be one forward. So that he couldn't leap. He could have still leaped. He couldn't be anywhere. Actually busted Hubris, yeah. He's not bad. Lyman is one of the I should foul. I've got 13 players. I should try to foul when I can. Bed does not suck. Like it's it's not as good a fit on on him as other teams, but he's just your best he's your most T V efficient player, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. He's he's like he's like he's like he is on a scaven team. It's it's like a rat ogre but good. <laughs> Imagine if 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 Skaven had a rat ogre. Uh, had a rattle. Imagine if Skaven had a lizard, uh, saw, uh, Croxagor. All right. Imagine if Skaven had a Croxagor. It'd be pretty fucking good, wouldn't it? I think it'd be pretty good. I think I'll base the ball this turn. He's not in scoring range, so there's going to be a heavy amount of ball basing. Double red, double skull. Right, the question here is do I hit him or does to get Varag in here? Or do I just uh, get an assist in? I think I just get an assist in. You can go back. Howdy, howdy. Three A from in. Good, isn't he? Good. It's fucking good. It's a shame that I can't go full herb derp because he's got so many guys who can just do stuff. Well, that's pretty good though. Yeah, I think they they could reduce the cost of the blitzers. And the blitzers are really good value once they skill up, but until they get there, they're a bit shit, aren't they? Mm, this guy should have been here, shouldn't he? He's got the two plus sleep out there.
I mean, there's a reserve, so. Oh no, he's down to 10 now, that's good. Oh yeah, I forgot that. I forgot Varag just got the card straight away, didn't he? Edge 5 here. He'll just score with the edge 5, won't he? I guess. Maybe I should have blitzed him instead of basing the ball. Basing the ball was thematic, but I guess I should have tried to win. Oh well, he's missing rerolls for this action and it's high risk. Oh, ho, ho. pretty high risk. He was pretty unlucky rolling two ones out of uh, three dice there, wasn't he? But it's the fact that he's got to make, deep, make two GFIs he wants to score or rely on not getting powered. Just because he's like literally the best player you can have, isn't that reason enough? Yeah, it wouldn't got more TV if you don't if you're un being uncomfortable with uh, at a higher TV. Making the dice roll, didn't he? Jump up, we can't do anything though. I can leap. Because Games Workshop things are in blood. Alright, so he's just giving us the 2D on the ball without tackle or anything. Oh my god, even better. Varag can make it uh, 3 dice. This is the catcher, isn't it? I still don't hate basing him. Obviously, I'd like to serve him. No, I could. Maybe I shouldn't move anybody here. Just see what happens. See what happens with this. This is pretty crucial, isn't it? <laughs> Luckily they don't start with dodge. Maybe I shouldn't have tempted the scatter out. But I didn't know I was going to break his AV, did I? Right now for sure, uh, Ripper makes the 3D. No oh, man, off line or punching him in the next week. <coughs> GFI to serve. I'll put him here. Put him here to cover the leaps out. Put him here to cover the leap out. What a hero I am. Restraint. Never go for serves. Blood Bowl 101. <laughs> the next dice roll is a skull. So, uh, good for me. Keeping these guys locked down is good, isn't it? I mean, you can you can make a one dice surf there if he wants, but that's using three players and they're not doing anything.
Yeah, the fact they don't start with that, like, I mean, if you don't count the Goblin Looney, <laughs> they're the only Strength 2 player that doesn't start with Dodge, which is uh, telling, isn't it? They don't even have cash. He's got pro, hasn't he? Or at least he used to. No, he doesn't have it anymore. That was a that was a good spot there, though, wasn't it? That was I mean that was a good play by me. Makes all the dice rolls. <laughs> This guy could make the recovery. Oh well. He didn't make the dice rolls then, did he? Oh, banged on. Banged on. Right. So now this surf is a lot, uh, a lot more tempting, isn't it? Where's the edge guy here? This could be where I blitz, couldn't it? Right. Right, he gets based first, even though he's agility five. Alright. <laughs> hey, I want a three dice with him. Ball's still pretty safe. He could foul this catcher. Edge 5 is terrifying. Two TZs in the ball. He could go there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He could then blitz him, but there's no foul. I think the GFI to foul here is pretty pretty worthwhile. Blitz surf could happen. I want to blitz him. The bad thing is I don't get make it three dice. I think I just block this guy. He's a blitzer, but what can I do? Is three dice on him a bit excessive? Yeah, I don't need three dice on him. Alright, so just two dice. He ain't got block, has he? Makes the base a little irrelevant, but... The unreliable one in thirty six block. Mm, I can uphill for a push if I fill in this square with it with a foul. I have to though. I had to foul him, didn't I? Is the, the ultimate potential PS, yeah. I mean, I played super safe early, didn't I? And I'm simple, playing, playing, playing pretty safe here. Oh, 
think. I think I played pretty safe all the way through. Got pretty lucky. <laughs> How could they ever lose? It's the lowest surf in the history of Blood Bowl, yeah. He's getting there, isn't he? He's getting there, he might get the surf next turn. If he fails in a dice roll here, he's only got one reroll left. Oh man, was that a double one leap? That's a catcher, isn't it? That was that was really unlucky. Um, however you cut it, that was really unlucky, wasn't it? Um, indeed. Right, pow him, pow him, Varag. It's still fucking the, th the the stupid thing is it's still fucking scary. <laughs> They've got like three players in the pitch and they're all down, but he can just jump up and run around and do all sorts. Fucking crazy team. Do I just go for the foul? Get a cheeky pal. Irrelevant action. Hmm. It's a shame I'm not in. I'm in. I'm in scoring range. Maybe I just score. He's got no rerolls left though. Maybe I foul him. Yeah, I think I foul him first, so I can block reroll the block and then foul because I can't reroll the foul anyway. Slowest surf in the history of Blood Bowl. Aw, oh, yeah. Right. He'll, he'll go here. No, he won't. <laughs> Fuck, I wouldn't have minded a stun for a send-off. That's when I foul, <laughs> you know? I've made two fouls, both times I would have been sent off to just stun this agility five monstrosity. He gets two dice on me just super easily. There's nowhere I can go to stop it. Nothing I can do. A cage here. Yeah, I've got to make a cage. Can't fill the pickup. I only have one guard, so. No, yeah, I cage with guard. I've only got one guard. So yeah, I like I like the I cage against Kislev usually. Um, but obviously with wrestle, they can appeal you anyway. I mean, at least he hasn't got a reroll. <laughs> mm. 
mighty blow. Silly question, turnips. I mean, I assume WE stands for Witch Elf, but if it stands, if W stands for literally any player in Blood Bowl, I'd say Mighty Blow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Will King, it seems that way, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's no it's not it's not horrible to have two. Alright, the only bad thing is having to fucking power this fuckhead. Um Let's get him on him. And the stun there is pretty good actually, isn't it? Value from Ripper, isn't there? It's a good, it's a good little player, old Ripper. Get the pow. Farag's alright as well, isn't he? I could blitz him now for the serve. Or I could just hit his uh, mighty blow guy. His mighty blow, his catcher. I didn't go for the catcher. This really isn't ideal. <laughs> He's still got a canoring threat. <laughs> Devastating fouls. <laughs> Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not. I'm, I haven't got a dicky tummy, as, uh, as people used to say when 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 to children. But um, that's what makes you fantastic, I guess. <laughs> Some impressive. I wanted to get him away because he, you know, bludge stand firm. He can really, he can really make it hard to score, can't he? So I think while this guy's got can do the uphill, you know, sack. He's got the better chance of the sack. I thought, you know, if he just gets in the way, it's going to be hard to do anything. months. Jimmy, I read a news headline about you the other day. Local man beats Norse. Coached to within an inch of his life. <laughs> oh man. We hit the wrong one. We hit the wrong one. Thank you very much Tw uh, Twomble for staying fantastic. I was drinking I was drinking a drink then. Why did he hit the wrong one? Two D up in the cars, yeah. Weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
thought that was weird. That was fucking weird. Three and all. I think he was saying that he was trying to get away, but I don't know. Um, dodge plus sidestep. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, but dodge sidestep is good. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's true, Ducky. Yeah, this 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 way he removes the the guard guy. Yeah. Right. Go for this first, anyway. If I can count. If I could count, that would help. Fish for the pal. GFI, isn't it? Because I really want the, the extra hit if I, uh, if I don't get the power. Yeah, I know it's going to be more simple. But I wanted to just try for the, the three dice pal, then it would have been no chain required, wouldn't it? No chain required was easier than, than making a chain. Uphill, <laughs> uphill, uphill, double pow in in the Kaz Apple fail is uh, a bit disappointing. Uh, now, nah, of course, I just chained him away, ran random boy. It could have been, I could have done a, I could have done a more easy chain push, but I wanted to try for the, uh, I wanted to try for the three plus out. The three plus out the uh, the fucking just go for the three dice power, you know. Three dice power was a uh, worth it, I thought. So, yeah, it was two, two, and that would make it. But I mean, the good thing is, the way that, no, Ripper couldn't get a follow-up block, could he? I thought I could have got a follow-up block from Ripper, maybe I could have done if I'd done it differently. I don't know. I don't know, I probably misplayed that. I don't think that I've played it well. Um, oh, he hasn't got any. He hasn't got a team life, but it's still it's like it's stupid, you know. I remember look tuning in to to Christopher's game against Valerhofia, was it? And uh, you know, he had he, this the, the kids that have had no players on the pitch and everything, 
Apo had just failed, and it's like he can still win. It's so it's so dumb. It's so dumb that he's not even he's not even out of it. Didn't make, I don't know, didn't make some fouls. Didn't get sent off. I've just got to think about a blitz, haven't I, as the main, main thing. Catches are over this side, you could just leap over if it comes over here. Three guy will go to six, hopefully. Uh, 490 TV, Marzen, but obviously I, I ended up TV after, after scumming to get the stars, so... It was all right in the end. I'm okay with this setup. <laughs> Maybe I should blitz this guy here. Yeah. It was already perfect. Oh God, I thought it. Right, let's put him back one so he can't get faced. Yep. 3D. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> very good. Too scary. Two from a loner. Ooh. You can go there to guard against if this is a both down. I'll still re-roll it anyway. There it is. You could blitz then assist here for the three dice. I'll just run back to screen. I should just base him actually. I could base him with the lineman. He should have been there. He's in the wrong fucking square. He should have been here, shouldn't he? No, no, it's alright. GFI. Okay, so this, this guy can't fucking leap anywhere. Power. Thought it was still turn eight. Ah. Yeah, I mean, it's not just like it's against the leap specifically, isn't it? That's the thing, you know. It's I'm terrified of the leap, um, so. It's very rare that you're going to have to do something like that. 
this specific thing of thinking about where they can leap to and that. Not getting banged on by mighty blow is much more much more pressing concern. Maybe I should have should have forgot about all that and just hit him with mighty blow. Rivers are amazing. Yeah, the lesser spotted Kislev team. <laughs> No, I'm ill, so I can't be. I can't be cheered with face cam. Oh, wow, wow. He's he's gone for the mull D defense without the threat of claw and fouling. Go for a 2D and then 3D. You can just you can just base people here. Hope to base base base. And you can base them. The hag can try and hit him. Oh no, he can try and hit him. And Vara can just be a bad ass. He's a bad ass. I guess I should have counted squares from him. Yeah, I didn't. But I should have done. I should have guessed. Like balls should have been here. I guess. Yeah, the most common's pretty good, isn't it? He's a he's a Kislev main. <laughs> Crazy. Let's not be mean, anybody. Let's not be mean. JFR. Let's not be mean. I don't want this to be the mean chat. No, no, mine, mine, mine can't be shown. But I tell you what can be shown is. Uh, don't know how to do this. That's the only command you need for me. <laughs> that Nurgle, that Nurgle stat though, winning more with Nurgle and Dark Elves is stupid, isn't it? Um, do I like the Mully D? Not, not, not when you don't have. 13 players and are ignoring the ball that like if he'd ignored the ball that gang foul this guy and he was claw pumping people I like the Muldy defense and I like the Muldy defense that was employed by the underworld team in the finals Or in the semi-final and the final of last season champs ladder but um just randomly running away from the ball <laughs> is only half of the Muldy strategy and without the other half it's it's just running away from the ball <laughs> <laughs> Plus it's just it's just a small sample size, isn't it? Twenty one games, you know. <laughs> but it's funny. It's funny. 
the concession. There's no shame in conceding, I don't think. Oh, I could just hit him. But I can't get in the system and make it three dice. Hit the mighty blow guy, I could just hit the guy in front of me. But you know, I could try and free him up to uh, hit him. I could just hit defenseless guys. Catches two plus two pluses out, but still two pluses out, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of them were like early on in the season where you just want to remake the team. You know, that's that that's a thing as well, isn't it? Yeah, when they're taken, when they're taken forever to play their turns, yeah, for sure. Maybe I should have caged up a bit further across, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Strad, you can. I mean, yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Conceding is the only thing that makes Blood Bowl bearable at all. Go Sunday! Thank Yeah, I mean, I conceded twice last season with the Wood Elves to just stop, you know, just dying against teams and stuff. And so, you know, I, so he's, he's using his Blitz on Ripper, which is fine by me. Disposable, oh my god, it even, uses, it even sucks a reroll. Ripper's the best, isn't he? Ripper is just the king of Blood Bowl. I didn't ditch Gobos, I just feel so ill that I thought Herb Dirt Basing with, uh, with Orcs would be funny. Fourth or fifth, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Pretty sour. Schmuzzy. Pretty sour. <laughs> I think he's including double one leaps in, in with that double skull, which isn't isn't strictly correct, is it? Double skull's a lot less a lot a lot less bad than a uh, than a snake on like a leap or something. Uh it's just W slash W or something, and then yeah, double slash W extra arms bar, and then yeah. Rani, and he's not bad. He's not bad, is he? Block, tackle, wrestle, dauntless. He does a bit of everything. He doesn't do anything well, great, but he does everything all right, doesn't he? I like getting him in range because it gave me the option of three dicing him if he. Uh, you know, wherever he goes. A big chub for Morani. Yeah, he's a bit boring. He's, he's not outstanding, but he does everything. It's double one, what's the difference? Because a double skull isn't anywhere near as bad as a double one. Because a double one is turnover, and a double skull and a block, he can still reroll. So, you know. That that block was one in twelve nine six to turn over, whereas a two plus dodge is one in one in thirty six to turn over. So double score. I mean, it's not good, <laughs> you know. I'm not I'm not acting like the dice haven't been bad or anything, but um, out of range of the mighty blow. Three dice on him. Two d two d two d. Keep moving forward. Start with this 2D, I think. Let's 
Sweet. Should have kept in base, shouldn't I? Oh dear. Well, I'm not going to argue about it with somebody who isn't even saying it in the channel. <laughs> Hey, nice KO. Kislev and Kislev coaches. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, yeah, rolling a double one in a dodge is, I, is way worse than rolling a double score on the block, isn't it? I'm not, I don't even know, man. Like if somebody rolls a, a one dice block and they get a skull and then reroll into a skull, that's the same as making a two plus dodge that fails, isn't it? Not making a double skull that you then reroll is nowhere near as, made, as bad as rolling double one. What I'm saying is basically is what I was. <laughs> the funny thing is he's arguing. And I was saying that his double ones on leaps were worse than that than that double skull on the block. <laughs> I wasn't even being bad at all or anything, but. Yeah, I like Hubris. No, all right, mate. Um, yeah, mate, because no, no one, no one talked about how good it was apart from me, because I was the only one fucking streaming. You fucking idiot! Right. Let's calm down on that. He just said, "Is that the fourth or fifth one this game?" He didn't roll five double scores, did he? Pretty sure he didn't roll five double skulls, but never mind. Right. That's that all with anyway. Some people there. <laughs> <laughs> part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up if you stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Eh? Oh, come on, get, draw the double one on the armour here. Be funny. Oh, no. 
No, succeed where all of my fouls failed. <laughs> oh dear. I just need to make some kind of mega bunker here, don't I? <laughs> that's true, Van Fox. <laughs> but I mean, that's true of everybody, isn't it? Ah. Right. Mighty Blow Guy is going to come back to here. He's coming out to here. He's come to here. We have engaged the mega bunker. Now it's time to wreck this little bastard. I didn't mean to go into two tackle zones that way. Yeah, I hate Helmet. I hate him. I hate that you're relying on a 1d6 action with a loner. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. I hate chainsaws. I fucking hate them. Absolutely hate them. Just, just quietly. I mean, he's rolled a few ones here, you know. <laughs> okay. He's rolled a few ones, but the thing is, he doesn't have a skill reroll for leap because it doesn't exist, and he doesn't have dodge on them. So, as terrifying as uh, as they are, things can happen, can't they? There's a lot of space to advance. Oh, good. Hey, Apple fail. <laughs> oh. Just as. Kill players. Fucking hell. Like, progression's good, but permadeath is better. Doesn't have dirty player. <laughs> Rando foul from Varag. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ox. <laughs> mm. 
Adji <laughs> guy next part. Adji guy's fucked off. Oh yeah, there's that Adji guy as well. But... I should. I just should never foul ever again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> oh, glorious! Yeah, yeah, it's it's gone, it's gone pretty well. But I mean, as well as it went, it was still always an, it was still always on edge, you know, because he could always roll some dice. Granted, the odds weren't, you know, massively in his favour or anything, with him not only having the agility three for the most part, and the edge two guys, not, the edge two, the edge four guys not having dodge for the most part. But you know, with the two edge five guys and wrestle uphill, anything could have happened. I don't, I don't know why he's doing this, <laughs> but he's done it twice now. Apparently, he thinks rolling. Rolling dice for fun is a good strategy. Uh, pick the skull this time. I guess he's based the ball, hasn't he? He's based the ball. Two double skulls for me there, just, just exactly the same as his uh, double ones on leaps. Oh wow, what a bad non-stand firm. foul him, which means that the wrestle's going to be on. It's fucking stupid, isn't it? Man? Fucking Kislev. They're so dumb. They're so dumb that I've completely murdered, annihilated his team. And yet, protecting the ball is not trivial. Karma. Good. <laughs> Finally broke AV. I mean, obviously did a lot of damage with the Mighty Blow and even non-Mighty Blow hits. I'm, I'm certainly not complaining about how this game has gone. It's gone pretty, pretty damn well. But it's crazy that as well as this game has gone, which is awesome, they still, you know, they're always in with a chance of stuff. Oh, yeah! Oh, no scroll dude, because sometimes he uh, he rolls a one and doesn't oh. get to base. Oh, man. Gets powered. This is the shit thing, right? I knew he was gonna do the leap in and power me, but if I if I hadn't if I'd put it the other way, 
then um, in a hadn't broken army, he just leaps and gets the hit instantly, doesn't he? Bang down. Two tackle zones, though. He's miles away. Not easy to get to. That was the good thing about protecting, protected against both these players, didn't it? <laughs> I'm Amory. This won't fail. Yeah, get a rip for every game anyway, yeah. <laughs> uh, 490 TV, so I did scum 70, I think. Um, casual. I mean, he should have left at some point in there, shouldn't he? Stun is huge. So now I can just take out the uh, threats to the... Uh, his scoring threats and I'm all right. Well, the threats to get the ball to his scoring threat. All right, three dice. No. No. All right, I'm going to be greedy here. <laughs> Let's be fucking greedy. Stun has tempted me to be greedy. Now, the good thing about that is it gives us the three dice here. could double GFI and then try to pass it to him, which would skill both of them. That's very, very Andy Devo-esque, isn't it? Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. <laughs> yeah, I just saw him then. Maybe I was like, oh, should he get it? Alright. If I'd failed either of those, I'd have just gone for the pickup. If I have to use the reel on the pickup, I'd just go for the pickup. So now that I've got there to the final part, obviously I'll go for it now. And fail. Okay. I don't think you can even get to the scoring threat now. Worst decision ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost a skill up, didn't I? But um, at least I was 1-0 up when I went for it. <laughs> and not nil nil. <laughs> yeah, three plus three plus with a reroll. Level up nobody instead of yeah. But you know, it, it was much more likely to level two than than none, wasn't it? It could have done yeah, cake of death. It could have started out in position. <laughs> Making sure we keep ready for next time. Oh dear. Right. Um, yeah, I probably should have just taken the touchdown, shouldn't I, really? I don't mind. 15 hour breaks to 4. 55 blocks to 15. That's the problem with Kislev, isn't it? Because they just don't have those blocks, especially when they don't have a Crocs to go. Um, herb Dirt, base, base, base. Roll 21 skulls. More pals than skulls. He <laughs> rolled twice as many skulls as pals. 
But when you look at them all together, um, 11 and 13, marginally unlucky. One double skull, two double skulls he rolled all match, which is unlucky after out of the few blocks that he made. Um, whereas I rolled probably none. One, one in nine. I had really good. I had really good block dice. To be fair. Well, let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at the uh, leaps. That's always. That's always the most interesting stat, isn't it? Sixty-one. That's pretty unlucky because a lot of the leaps were two pluses. He made a lot of weird dodges, and unnecessary dodges, and unnecessary leaps as well. To be fair. You know the payoff was great, but it, it could have endangered the score. It could have it could have potentially scattered out to him. So I probably shouldn't have done. Probably shouldn't have gone for it. But yeah, it was so tempting, wasn't it? After playing like so so cautiously all game long, you know, <laughs> like take no chances, and then on turn sixteen, I'm just like fuck it and go for the pass. Bit bit dumb, but never mind. Um. And missing the blitzer as well. Oh, you know, with him being missed next game, that was that was really more motivation to score, wasn't it? Oh, oh, I really fucked up. I really fucked up. I really should have got guard on one for sure, knowing that I was missing my guard for the next game. But never mind. Four and zero, not a bad start to the team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.